Welcome back to Small Farm Guys. Here we're, it's, what is it now? It's February and we're doing an oil change on our Kubota RTV 900 here. So we'll just walk you through the steps on how to do that and uh, we'll just show you what you need to do. This is, this will be good for everybody to know. That way if you want to get one of these, you know what to do. We got the bed up and everything. So we're going right here to the top of the engine right here, this little cap. We're going to take this off because this is where we pour the oil in. Notice it says oil on the cap, so you can't be mistaken. So we're just going to take this off. I like to just set it right up on top. The only reason I'm taking that off right now is so that way when we go underneath it and drain it out, it drains faster, and so that way that it doesn't have like a suction cup. It just lets the air right through. All right, guys, so right now we're underneath the Kubota, and we're just going to take and loosen up this oil plug here. And there's tightening, there's loosening. So you just want to loosen it up, and then you can usually turn it by hand. I've got my oil pan right here. I'm going to pull that down, and then we're just going to unscrew this plug, and we're going to let the oil all out. Alright, now we just got it draining, so I'm going to just take this plug, and I, I, just, I bring it up top with me so I don't lose it, but you guys can put it wherever you want. All right, guys, with the oil, we just took that plug out. So while it's draining out there, I like to save time and multitask here. So I'm going to take and go right to the oil filter here. And usually these things aren't on super tight that you can't get them off by hand, but sometimes they are, so you might want an oil filter wrench. And if you notice this one, it when we take it off here, it doesn't say Kubota because it is actually not a Kubota filter. Um, it's a motorcycle filter, actually, that... It's the same specs and everything as the Kubota filter. It's just cheaper. And I'll show you that one and I'll show you that filter in the box so you know the number one if you want it. We still have it draining. And this is actually a Fram oil filter. It's not a Kubota one. It's a Fram. It's a PH6017A. We'll show you it again on the box when we go to put the new one back in. But you can, it's still full of oil so you can just take that and I'm just going to Put it right on the night on the pan because we've got a nice little spot for it. The filter we use, you guys, it's a Fram. It's a PH6017A. Like I said earlier, when we were when we took it off, this is the oil filter we use. This is the same specs as the Kubota one. It just doesn't say Kubota on it, and it's about half the price. And you pick these up at the auto parts store. All right, so right down here, I just like to take wipe all this stuff off here, get her all nice and clean. So that way we can get that seal on there and it puts a real nice good seal on this nice seating surface here. So we'll get this all cleaned up here and then we'll go put that new filter on. What I'm doing is I'm just pouring a little bit of oil on there. Run it down onto the seal here. And then we just take it a little bit and rub it on this ring. You see how it's dull up here and shiny down here? We're going to take and make it shiny we want it shiny all the way around that means you get a good nice little bead of oil on there that's what we want so now the seal is lubricated so it'll create a nice lock, nice snug fit and it'll make that oil filter sit on there nice all we're doing is we're just going to take this and we're going to screw it right back on here all right guys so we're back underneath here i got my rag again we're just going to wipe up these extra little oil drips wipe off around that oil plug hole here get it all nice and clean and so we can go put that oil plug back in and not get any dirt in there so you can see that it stopped draining now so now we're just going to take that oil plug and we just screw it back in we'll just get her screwed right on in there and be careful you do not want to cross thread these things so if you feel it kind of bind don't keep cranking on it because it's a lot of money to have them fixed once they're cross threaded Put this thing all the way up there hand tight all the way flush just like that and we're just going to take our wrench again and we're just going to put a little bit of we're just going to push this out of our way for a minute and we're just going to take and make sure she's just in there nice and snug you don't want to crank these things down just about not even a quarter turn after it gets tight just nice and snug in there we're gonna go back up top and we'll put the oil in just taking one of our old uh, oil jugs here 
And we're just using that as a funnel, just so I don't spill oil everywhere, because <clears throat> I'm known to do that. So now we're just gonna take, we're dumping in, it's 3.3 quarts. This isn't actually Rotel, it's not 1540 either. This is just a jug that we use for measuring. See, we've got our measuring here, with all of our little labels. Just use this for measuring right now. We're dumping in 1030 because it is still in the winter. So we're just gonna dump this in. We fill it up full. I like to dump it in slowly, make sure it all goes in. I also like to take and just crack that dipstick so you have, again, so your air can come out. It makes it easier, it dumps in, pours faster, pours nicer, doesn't spill everywhere. Then now I'll just let that funnel sit in there for a second and drain all in now. 